Hello everyone, welcome again. So today we are going to finish the week 4 of Excel Skills for Business which is offered by Macquarie University, Sydney, Australia. Okay, so you should go through the lecture videos. I will recommend you because these are very very useful. So we are going to check out the first quiz of this course which is managing rows and column. Uh, so the first question is you can insert a column on the left of an existing column by pressing on the home tab and inserting sheet columns. Okay, so this is your first option that is correct and the second option is right clicking on the column header and selecting insert. So the, this too will be your correct answer and the second question Shane wants to delete the contents of cell O3, O4, P3 and P4. He clicks and select delete from the context menu. So you need to explain what is actually happened there, right? Okay, so actually Shane got mixed up with the ways to delete content of cell versus deleting rows and columns enter itself. So if he hits OK, then it will create a mess on his whole worksheet. And I think he probably did it. And the second probability or probable way that Shane got mixed up with the ways to delete context of cell versus deleting rows and columns, the correct way to do it, it would have to select the cells, then navigate to the home tab, press clear and then select clear content okay so you need to clear content not deleting the whole cell and columns she needs to add a new account manager to his table but he wants to keep the same sorting and formatting how will he add robert demarco to his spreadsheet without losing the current alphabetical listing okay so he need to right click on the root hand uh, this root hand fernandez nicolas and then select insert and another way he can do single click anywhere in the root hand and navigate to the insert tool on the home tab and select insert sheet rows and the last answer single click in row 10 of the table and use the key shortcut control plus shift plus equal okay so we're going to our next quiz which is basically find and replace right we need to find and replace many of our data in our spreadsheet so in the practice video shin need to change miss kenny's address from sydney fish market to sydney fish market bank street per amount okay so shin need to go through find and replace so what is he done actually? He did, well, that was correct, because if he had done a find and replace for Sydney only, there will be inadvertently, he changed all the instances of Sydney in the entire database, and he only wanted to change the ones for only the customers of Sydney Fish Market, not the whole Sydney. And which of the following options is set correctly in the find dialog window to display all results for the window with lowercase. Anywhere in the workbook, it has several sheets. And what is the answer? It will be this one. They need to match the cases and within the workbooks, not within the sheets. Okay. Shin wants to find all the streets that have the number 18 in them. There are so many numbers in the data set though, he uses default setting search, but he has 441 results and they are mostly in the columns with the currency in them. Can you find, can you help him to reduce the number of search results to get his answer more easily? Okay. He can select the column D before he does his search and now Excel will only look for his particular column and he can also open find dialog box and change the format settings to general. Let's see. Okay, so our next quiz is filtering. We need to know about the filtering options. What is the, what does this icon mean? This icon means the filtering is applied. Okay, filtering is active only means the bare down arrow. Okay, which of the following are valid filter arguments of a column populated with dates and no background fill, such as tomorrow, right? Okay, what is important to clear all filters once you are finished with a specific task at hand? If you forget that one or more of your columns are still filtered by the time you are interpreting your data for your next test, you can easily draw a wrong conclusion from your data. And the next answer, filters can remain applied even when your columns are hidden. So it's easy to lose track, especially in large data sheets. Okay, you can tell that a filter has been applied somewhere in your sheets, you are not sure, go straight to overdo it. Okay, so this icon means the headings look like this, the, their sorting, uh, sorting or filter is applied, okay. Okay, so this is your answer. Now we are going for our next, which is sorting. Uh, this is another important quiz and also important question in our spreadsheet. Okay, so Shane wants to sort his data by order quantity. He single clicked on the column letter Q to select the column and presses sort and filter on the home tab and selects sort largest to the smallest. Which of the options below shows his spreadsheet will look like this? No, his spreadsheet will look like this. Okay, so it will be like this one. Okay, so when he will press the option, it will be like this. So what is the difference between them? This will not be the answer because he needs to sort his order quantity. Okay, so if he doesn't select the column, then the 50 will show in the order quantity of two and three rows. And in this row, actually, there this 50.
select columns right click on and go to insert three times okay this two will be your answer shin has carefully set up some complicated conditional formatting to one of the columns in the worksheet he now wants to apply the same rules to another column in his worksheet what is the quickest way for him to do this he and his format painter right okay so now we need to download our assessment sheet right open the edit workbook and go to the product category for word and on 5090 we need to find this right so now phrase open enable editing okay so now you can search for the thing cancel okay 5091 copy right back to our worksheet expand the ribbon and find here find okay so 5091 close home office what is the product category for word and long 5091 and the columns have hidden okay so that's the thing you, you should press here and delete unhide press here unhide and again press here press in the middle right unhide a b c d e f oh we need more g Okay, so 5091, we again go for this. Where is our 5091? This is our under technology, right? Okay, so go and write technology. The order 5024 was canceled, delete the row one. And you know, how should we delete this? First of all, you need to search for this, right? Find. Oh no, that's not this. 5024, copied. close find 50241 now you need to delete this okay so we have already deleted now what's the updated average in s1 right we need to go to s1 average order is 1151 1151 and 53 cents that's your correct answer Okay, you need to find out most recent shipment of the by sort the data by sheet date and what was the order quantity of the most recent item okay so we need to insert sorting okay so basically ship date and then press home sort filter okay so we have already shipped it date filters we need to sort by ship date Okay, so remove the filter, sort, custom sort, and ship date, newest to oldest. Okay, okay, so this is the recent ship date. You can see order quantities 31. That's your answer. You need to check the most recent furniture item ordered. Okay, so now sort data by product category. Okay, again, control Z, control Z, control Z. Okay, so again, you need to sort data, custom sort now you need to the product category right i think so product category and then order date okay so add another level and then it will be order date okay so a to z and order newest to oldest newest to oldest okay we have done it so the question is what is the order priority for the most recently ordered furniture item okay so most recently order priority low still like the answer low Okay, so the next answer would have been asked to find out the orders of the customer. Chindi Chipman, Candy Chipman. So you need to search Candy Chipman. Okay, so for this, you need to insert, oh, you need to control undo, control undo. Okay, so you can also redo this. Okay, so home filter, right? Now we need to uh, press here, home sort filter right okay so now we need to select all of them and only in the chip menu. right in the chip menu where is he yes okay so how many words are there there are six orders right you can write six so that's how you should do your assignments that's really a good answer and clear the previous filter you can also do the answer will be three and the next answer if you provide the answer will be five there will be five office supplies 
and there's a wrong answer right that's why i have made mistake and talk one person apply a new filter to show one person so that's you should check this out i have made mistake and if you know the correct answer don't forget to comment the right answer right okay use the find tool under the word number 644 priority will be medium okay find and replace and the last answer will be 137 if you do in the same way so i think that's all for today and you must do your and you must get 100 percent marks right you shouldn't forget to get this as i'm helping you here and till then stay home stay safe and don't forget to like the video if you like it and subscribe for getting the latest updates and thank you very much for staying with us